name of the Franks, since these dialects are all derived from the early medieval language of the Franks, linguistic terminology in English varies between the names Frankish and Franconian, the Germanic language of Merovingian Francia being variously known as Old Frankish, Old Franconian or simply Frankish. Gustav Solings Dihudiska used the adjective Franconian in reference to the Merovingian period, and Old Franconian for the language of the Pledge of Charles the Bald. In 1890, Ernest Adams defined Old Franconian as an Old High German dialect spoken on the Middle and Upper Rhine, i.e., it went beyond the limits of Franconia to comprise also the dialect continuum of the Rhineland. In 1862, Max Muller pointed out that Jacob Grimm had applied the concept of German grammar to ten languages which all appear to have once been one and the same. One of these was the Netherland language, which appears to have been produced by the combined action of the older Franconian and Saxon, and stands therefore in close relation to the Low German and the Frisian. Its descendants now are the Flemish in Belgium and Dutch in Holland. Muller, after describing Grimm's innovation of the Old, Middle and New phases of High German, contradicts himself by reiterating that Franconian was a dialect of the Upper Rhine. Wright identifies Old Low Franconian with Old Dutch, both terms used only in English. At one point in his writing they were referred to as Old High German speakers, at another, Old Dutch speakers, and at another Old French speakers. After the death of Junius, a contemporary of Van Vliet, Johann George Grievous said of him in 1694 that he collected fragments of Vetter Francica, Old Frankish, ad illustrandum linguam patrium, for the elucidation of the mother tongue. The concept of the Dutch Vetter Francica, a language spoken by the Franks mentioned in Gregory of Tours and of the Carolingian dynasty, which at one end of its spectrum became Old Dutch, and at the other, Old High German, threw a shadow into neighboring England, even though the word Franconian, covering the same material, was already firmly in use there. A second term in use by Van Vliet was Oud Duijts, Old Dutch, where Duijts meant the entire continental Germanic continuum. Van Vliet used the Oud Duijts ambiguously to mean sometimes Franks, sometimes Old Dutch and sometimes Middle Dutch, perhaps because the terms were not yet firm in his mind. English linguists lost no time in bringing Van Vliet's Oud Duijts into English as Old Dutch. The linguistic noun Old Dutch competed with the adjective Old Dutch, meaning an earlier writing in the same Dutch, such as an Old Dutch rhyme, or an Old Dutch proverb. Brandt's Old Dutch proverb, in the English of his translator, John Child, mentioned in 1721, in dropped my night mocked, and twist verquest, unity gives strength, and discord weakness, means contemporary Dutch and not Old Dutch. Linguistic Old Dutch had already become Low Dutch, the contemporary language, and High Dutch, or High German, 1967536A F0.